I still find it mesmerizing that you can mix what looks like liquids together, brush it onto a plain piece of paper, put a negative on top of it, expose it to some sunlight, and watch it create this beautiful image. To me, that is absolutely magic. My name's Paul Reed, and I'm a British fine art photographer. One of the things which I get asked about often is my printing methods and why I favor the platinum palladium process over all other methods. Nobody seems to shoot to print these days. Everything seems to be just going on Instagram and Facebook and all that sort of social media side of things or just kept on a computer. But that's not fulfilling the potential of some of these great cameras out there. What I wanted was to shoot with a purpose, to shoot to print because that's what photography is all about. It's all about something physical. I'm here today at RJ Print Lab to speak to Roberto about the Platinum Palladium printing process. I'm also here to print one of my favorite images. It's a time traveler image called Still Lost. One of my ambitions is to have my entire Time Traveller project all printed in the Platinum Palladium way. That's is the that one. the one? This yeah. is the one, right? That's the baby. Here we are looking at every single detail on here because the Platinum Palladium process will pick up everything. Yeah. So we have a close look at the file. One of the greatest things about the Leica Q2 monochrome is that it's got a fixed lens which means you won't get any dust on the sensor, ever. We said we're gonna do a 20 by 24 today, so let's see if we can make it fit into a 20 by 24. How will it look? I'm gonna turn this to grayscale. So that's what we'll get. So now we have created a negative file so we can print your negative. The very first time I saw a platinum palladium print was at a show in Paris. I was invited by one of my best friends who's a great photographer to a group exhibition about seven or eight years ago and all the prints were platinum palladium. I had never seen prints like this before, even after 25, 30 years in the industry. So I wonder what made them so special and what drew me in so much to the prints. I later found out that platinum and palladium are two of three noble metals, the other one being gold. Noble means they will never fade as opposed to a regular darkroom print, which is a silver process print will eventually fade. There's only about five papers that are specifically made for this process. That means basically that they're acid free and they have no alkaline buffers. For the past few years, I've been using Hannah Muley Platinum Rag. It is readily available in the UK and it's always been very consistent. It is my paper of choice right now. I tend to store my paper in a humidified cabinet, which tends to keep it at about 65, 70% humidity. And that just makes my life easier when coating the emulsion. So we do have to keep the paper in certain conditions. Most people who have seen a platinum palladium print for the first time fall in love with the process. They want to know how it's been done because the tonality of it is just unrivaled by anything else. Everything from mixing the chemicals together to brushing the solution carefully onto the paper, it just has such an artistic feel to it. The platinum palladium chemistry is sensitive to ultraviolet light, so basically the sun. So we use an exposure unit that simulates the sun. Shooting with the Leica Q2 Monochrome, 
I really wanted the printing method to fulfill the potential of the files that the camera produces. As a fine art photographer, what I really wanted was to have a marriage between the Leica Q2 monochrome and the images that it produces with the final print. To me, I think the platinum printing process is a very tactile process. You have to kind of experience uh, the prints for you to enjoy them. Yes, you can look at them on social media and whatnot, but until you come and actually feel the paper and look at the beautiful imagery and the beautiful tonalities, you'll never know what it actually really is. So I highly encourage you to print your images. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs>